Good evening. So today I'm just going to show you quickly how to make a nice sort of natural uh, swimming fish using spline control. So what we're going to do, I've got my fish model here and I have made sure that he is uh, facing along minus Z. So we're going to just go into side view and we are going to go to setup and bone child bone that's just the equals key and then we hit P for properties and we're just going to set the rest, rest length now if I just press the equals key again that's going to create another another bone so I keep doing that until I've got enough and then if I just check they're all aligned Looks good. You can hit R to activate the bones. And now we've got a nice deforming fish. So just select the object, P for properties, and I'm going to set the subdivision order to last. Okay, so that's the rig done. And now we're going to make a spline. So Control N new null object, I'm going to call that spline and then I'm going to create another one called node and if we come into my surface editor I'm just going to drop the node under the spline here then I'm going to uh, just duplicate that, so I'm going to clone that Five, five times. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave node one where it is, and then just start spreading these out. So I'm just going to go 0.5, one, and just spread them out in half meter increments. 1.5, two. Three. Let's try that. Okay. So, and I'm just going to select all my all my bones, information options, and under spline control, I'm just going to select my spline root there. And you can see that that's now created a spline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. 3, 5 and 7 and I'm just going to offset them by the same amount so let's try just like uh, point, point 0.1 100 mil and that should give us a nice kind of wave in our fish animation so now that that's set up all we want to do is select the first bone and see here as we drag in Z that will move it along the spline so all we need here is two keyframes hit play and we get this really nice smooth animation so that's all great but what I want to do is create a looping animation to use for something else like flocking or um, something like that so what I'm going to do is my first keyframe I am going to place my fish on let's try about there, so that's two and we're just going to come to like 30 frames here and then I need to be at one and you can see because we've made the uh, control points the same position we should have pretty much the same pose in both points. So if I just come to top down now with that bone centered, he should just look like he's looping there. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So what we need to do now is just bake the bones. So I'm just going to select all the bones and I'm going to 
come across to MF Motion Baker. And you can find that on uh, the Mental Fish website. Uh, it's mentalfish.com and then come across to Lightwave and you should find uh, Motion Baker in there. So download that one and install it. And then we're just going to run that with all the bones selected. Select our frame range, 0 to 30. And those bones are baked now. So what we've got to do now is just remove the uh, spline control from these bones. So motion options. Just hit the cross here for spline control. And then we play the animation and we should have exactly what we had before. Okay. So now what I want to do is actually remove uh, the animation from the, the very first bone there. So we've got this Z keyframes here. I'm just going to delete those and set that to naught. Now hit play. nice little animation of a swimming fish.